I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. Hey, what's up my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less talk. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. This platform consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, some shade. We got it all. Okay, we even got some sensitive topics. So if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this is not the platform for you. In today's segment, we got Vlad TV. He tired of Jaguar, right? And we are going to be talking about it. We also got an update with On The Mac. We got Ivory and we got Mariah and Bianca. Yes, they're still going on. Their reunion part one has been passed and they're still trying to, you know, put out whatever they need to put out. But before we get to all of that hot ass mess, please make sure to like this video. Now, Vlad TV... Okay, we already know he's going to come out. He's going to speak his piece as anybody should. Okay, so let's get straight into what he had to say regarding Jaguar Wright and them emailing her for an interview. Jaguar Wright recently did an interview when she can show an email claiming we contacted her for an interview. This is false. Only emails from LadTV.com are invites to the show. This is why she's covering the email address. Like I said, in the Piers Morgan panel, Jaguar Wright has never been invited to do an interview and she never will be. This is someone who seems to be suffering from mental illness. Anyone who interview her is taking advantage of a mentally disabled person for views. Then he says, no, Jaguar Wright was not invited to do a Vlad TV interview. They painted her picture. They will discredit her, everything that she says, and will get her involuntarily committed to the psychiatric ward. Now, like I said before, some people might not believe Jaguar Wright. Some people might believe her. Me personally, I feel that there are some truth in some things that she has been talking about. Okay, I know she might exaggerate some stories a little bit, but I truly believe that there is some truth in some things that she say. I'm not saying 100% everything that she is putting out is accurate and, and true, but a lot of the things that she's accusing, she has to have some type of evidence or something to back it up. You just have to. Okay, you can't put out serious allegations without any proof because nowadays nobody is just taking your word for it. OK, people are going to jail that are innocent because of false accusations with no proof. OK, so this is something very serious. And Jaguar, right, um, you know, has been living her life, telling her truth for the longest. So this is not nothing new. So I guess because she went on a platform with a Caucasian male, because that's what everybody is putting out there. Oh, my God. You know, like, it doesn't matter what platform she went on. It don't matter. She been saying these things no matter what color the platform person is. Like, y'all got to stop reaching with this. Like, but let me know how y'all feel about that. Do y'all believe some things that Jaguar right say is right? Or you think that she's just a liar? Okay, so Anna Mac went on her stories and it seems like she's not really happy right now. She's saying like, yeah, I'm a goofy or whatever, but that's just fun stuff. Like, I'm like really not happy. So we're going to get into some of her posts and, you know, a little bit of how she's feeling right now. I just went through all my pictures from 2018 to now and I ain't realized how unhappy I was until I got to see the times I was genuinely happy for real. I swear I'm not even happy. I'm just funny, laughing my butt off. I guess that works. Then she posted up pictures of her weight and saying that was ha like healthy weight. Happy, healthy weight when she had a little bit more weight on her because you know she's a little bit more slimmer now. And she's saying from years ago, that was her healthy weight. I miss my real life, the real world. I miss my friends, the F. Because y'all know all she do is baddies and do her promotions with baddies. So I understand where she's coming from. A lot of us out here is like, it's a struggle going on. It's a lot of stuff going on in the world that we got to hold over ourselves. And, you know, got to have our eyes open for it, ears open for it. So I understand. And then she's in an environment with all females Show after show after show, fight after fight after fight. I'm pretty sure it's getting really tiring at this point. 
So I understand where she coming from, and I also understand, I'm pretty sure a lot of us females understand where she coming from when it comes to weight change, okay? The up and downs, the up and downs, and, you know, some people might be happy skinny, some people might be happy with some meat on their bones, you understand what I'm saying? So for, you know, to each his own, but hopefully she gets it together, pray, and, you know, find her journey and her peace, and just relax somewhere, maybe she just needs to be by herself, it's okay to have a a date for yourself, a vacation for yourself, and just clear your mind with nobody around and just do you, you know, because your peace is everything. Now, Ivory, okay, y'all know that she's filming for Baddies Midwest right now, and she, you know, she switched from Now That's TV to Zeus. A lot of them is trying to convert over there to Zeus because of the money and the fame. She says, and I'm telling everybody business today, as soon as I'm done filming, watch this. I don't give a F how cool you thought we was. Watch this. Um, If she's talking about Zeus, this will be her first and last season on Baddies. But is it? Hmm. They stripped her power on Now That's TV to split the 100K she won with her group as captain, so she's upset. Supposedly, they removed her because she says Zeus has more money on video. She gotta be talking about Now That's TV because they not giving her the money she won on the show. I think they mad because she switched networks and said Zeus was paying more. Well, I'm pretty sure that they are. <laughs> Yeah, she's talking about Ned S C V. They want too much from the cast members, but not paying them enough. I mean, I don't blame them. I don't think she realizes that. This um she the Zeus thing may not be forever. Getting a chin doesn't what? Getting a chin I mean getting a chain, they mean. Doesn't mean you will continue to be cast. A few have that chain and are no longer here. She may need them one day and can't go back. I mean, that is true because she been with Now That's TV from, from the jump when these shows started. She been in like every single show on Now That's TV when it comes to fighting, bullying, and everything else. Um, but a lot of the girls from Now That's TV is switching over to Zeus because they, if you look at the Now That's TV girls and look at the Zeus girls, come on, it's a big difference and you can tell which one is getting money and getting paid better. And that's just what it is. I would go over to Zeus too if I was in that type of environment and like fighting and like all that clout chasing stuff. I would have went to Zeus too. You want to say what I'm saying? So I don't blame, but don't, you know shit on them because you never know how anything might play out you understand what i'm saying nobody might give you a chance to get back on their platform if push come to shove you know something is better than nothing some might say but at the end of the day it is what it is and i for sure am gonna watch <laughs> baddies midwest the C, I know for sure Ivory is not going to click with a lot of the females. She's coming from Now That's TV. Like, Now That's TV fights is way worse and more, you know, like, crazier than Zeus. You understand what I'm saying? It just seems a little bit more realistic on Now That's TV side. It doesn't seem too scripted like Zeus be seeming a little scripted. Now, Mariah Lynn is still trying to, you know, tell her side of the story. She's like, I'm not a liar, this and this, regarding Bianca, the Sapphire situation, and all of that damn mess. Okay, like, I would be really mad if I'm a whole adult in this type of drama and mess. Like, what? Okay, so she puts out some text messages, I guess, between her and Bianca, right? Y'all can pause to read that. I'm gonna just sit this right here because I don't need to lie about nothing. In fact, that's why I distanced myself and Seki is my witness because you lied about the fight with Heaven. I was about to fight someone I, I was been cool with for you over some stuff y'all playing for cameras. Freak out of here. Okay, so remember... Pause to read the text messages, okay? Because clearly in there, B Mariah b told Bianca that she didn't have no problem with Sapphire. And it seemed like Bianca wanted to do whatever she wanted to do anyway. That was her choice and her decision. I was told that you called Nat calling me fake. But that didn't bother me because I didn't believe it at first. But then when Asian out of her own mouth said you called her and told her to watch out for me and squash the beef again without saying nothing to me yeah it was done up 
Anyway, back to my day. I have so much positive things going on in the works, so I'm done talking about people who are no longer in my life and try to just add low vibrations to my day. I'm leaving it all in God's hands. Okay, hopefully you stick to that, girl. Now, Bianca, we're going to get into what she has to say, and when I tell you, she is exposing some personal alleged things about Mariah. Okay, so let's get into it. Mariah, I beat your butt that bad. You sending messages to my baby father trying to apologize for calling him G-A-Y? Girl, he don't want your washed up old chlamydia having butt. And y'all know I tell no lies. I got the proof her butt was burning as well. So stop trying shit. This is weird. Um, Mariah Lynn, I told my BD you have chlamydia and I'm gonna send the paperwork to him. So good luck with that. Anyways, on a date in Las Vegas with my man. Okay, so this is the thing. Who cares? If she got any STDs, STIs or whatever the case may be, who cares? That is her body. I'm pretty sure she took whatever she needed to take to clear it. Am I right? Why do y'all females be worrying about what other people got? Worry about your own cootie cat. Like she could be walking around with, you know, something more serious. And what the hell are y'all going to do? Oh my God, you got, who cares? People live and they learn, okay? Not everybody out here in the world is using protection, okay? But at the end of the day, like I said before, anytime when it comes to friends and they're breaking up and they come on the internet to expose each other, it's so embarrassing. Like, at what point in your life are y'all gonna grow up and have a different type of mentality? Like, we gotta do a little bit better, okay? And nowadays, j- things just don't be working out. Why can't people just help, like, just move on healthy? Like, no negative, just positive vibes and just move on gracefully. Everybody in friendships and relationships and marriages, when they part, is always something going on. Like, y'all be in y'all feelings that much that I gotta show how pressed y'all are. Like, come on. I'm the type of person that I will be unbothered you by my actions. I will pay you no mind. I will move on with my life. And that hurts the most, I guess. Because then everybody want to start posting up things and talking about each other. Like, who does that? Why y'all be so upset? But anyways, but that's what happened. Mariah Lynn and Bianca had some stuff way before. With a baby daddy or something that happened before and they, they wasn't friends no more. And then they became friends, and now it's another thing. And it's just, pack it up. If y'all not going to be friends, don't be friends. Carry on. Like, it's never that serious. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about everything that I discussed in this video. How y'all feel about Vlad, you know, calling Jaguar, right? You know, basically a mental patient. Okay? Do y'all feel the same way? What about Ivory? Like... Who y'all think that she gonna blast on from now that CV? What is she going to expose? But anyway, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, to the loose, but bye. I brought a G Wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought four door, had to get ready for four.